Hi, I'm Moody. I'm feeling Moody, and it's time for a moon message. The moon is in the waning crescent phase under the astrological sign of Taurus. This reading is for Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Love reading, love brief. What's the message for Sag? Okay. King of Swords, Reverse. Oof, Six of Pentacles, The World. Ace of Wands, Temperance. Two of Cups. Sagittarius. What? Mm -hmm. Why is all of this reversed from my Sagis? Okay. Tell me what's going on, Holy Spirit. King of Swords is reversed. Wow. Somebody's very cutting, manipulative, jealous, envy. Hmm. Even the way they talk is very cutting. They just slice you with their words. And this is somebody who has the capacity to be very fair. They um, control financial situations, people's money, people's lives. Somebody who was acting like this, it's coming to an end. Maybe they were acting like this towards you, Sagittarius. They weren't reciprocal. There wasn't an even give and take. But And this is crazy. This is mental health issues. This is, um, you know, somebody who is using their power to hurt people. And they, they they may not be aware of some of the things that they do, but they do have influence over people's lives. I see that a new opportunity is presenting itself, one that you have to be patient with. And love will, could, or does materialize from. From this opportunity. So it could even be a business opportunity where you meet somebody that you fall in love with. But what concerns me is that temperance is reverse. Um... I'm hearing just be patient. What is for you won't pass you by. Maybe you don't hear communication as quickly as you want to with the eight of wands reverse. Like you're, you know, because this opportunity is here currently, it makes you a little impatient, unbalanced, um, you know. You want this to happen now. You want to see change now. You're you're impatient when it comes to change. But and you don't hear the communication as fast as you should and so you make a hasty decision. Okay, don't make a hasty decision. That could cause you to miss an opportunity where love is concerned. Okay? Mhm. Mm Okay. Yeah. I think that um, in the future, as long as, uh, hmm, you know, uh, you're definitely expecting communication, but Spirit is saying it may not come when you think it should come. Um, things may not happen according to your timetable. This is what I'm hearing. Okay. Qualify the King of Swords reverse. There's something that somebody doesn't see clearly. Hmm. 
And it has to do with their future, it, their destiny, good fortune. Yeah, seven of cups, though. Yeah, there's confusion. Again, there's something, don't act hasty. Don't be impatient. Don't, uh... I'm hearing everything happens, four of wands. Reverse. Yeah, there's a relationship, an important relationship. Two of Pentacles. You know, I'm being told, Sagittarius, um, this you're going to see a lot of stuff happen regarding this relationship. I think it goes through a lot of levels or a lot happens that causes confusion, right? A lot of confusion. And that's how you felt in the past. And that's why you couldn't really make a decision. Because things weren't clear. I'm also getting that. And they weren't supposed to be clear. Because there's something you weren't supposed to see. It's like, or what you saw wasn't the end result. Yeah, this opportunity is going to require you to... Bring uh, about some hermit energy. Spend some time. Um, give it time to mature with the Nine of Pentacles. You know, the Nine of Pentacles is a very mature energy. Um, it takes time to get to the Nine, the Ten of Pentacles. And that's what you're being told here. Uh, give time time. I don't know. Got the Nine of Cups. You may be in a state of solitude, and that's only temporary. Mm -hmm. Your wish fulfillment is up ahead. Your Ten of Cups, I was feeling that. Look at that. Ten of Cups is qualifying the Two of Cups. Yeah, don't be hasty. Um, don't be hasty. Give time, time. Don't be impatient. It's like fine wine. It takes time. Okay. Yeah. yeah, for some reason, don't judge yourself too harshly based on someone else's conversation or the way that they feel about you or your situation or what you're going through. There's something that... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is beginning with the Princess of Wands... Um, Don't expect others to communicate quickly. It's going to take time before you hear word. Okay. Okay. All of these cards are saying kind of the same thing. Yeah, two of cups. Two of Swords. Because, okay, so it's going to take time for it to happen, but when it happens, you have to be decisive. You have to be ready. Yeah, so I, I see why you got the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, waiting for the Ten of Cups. You're on guard. You're not sure with the Princess of Swords reverse, you know, is this a lie or is it the truth? You, you kind of go back and forth with judgment. But don't look for others to validate anything for you. It's not, or to say anything. That's not going to happen. This is divine timing. <laughs> it's all divine timing. Yeah. Tell me, Holy Spirit. Yeah, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. What else, Holy Spirit? Virgo, you deserve love. You were lovable. This is Sagittarius. Maybe you're dealing with a Virgo. Um, maybe you have Virgo in your placement, Sag. But maybe um, your soulmate's going to be a Virgo. 
<laughs> Look at that. And Soulmate Falls. Yes. Whoever it is, it's a soulmate. And this is what you've waited for. This is what you deserve. This is what you're hoping for, Satch. I mean, you are like... I know. It's, you're impatient for a reason. It's like you're, you're anticipating this new love coming in. And you want it now. And you want it... Oof. Lord, you want it. Mm -hmm. Be patient. It's coming. It's coming. You have the two of cups here. It's coming. Yeah. Is there something else you want to say for Sagittarius, Holy Spirit, regarding this soulmate that's coming in? What else about this soulmate, Holy Spirit? They're a muse. Wow, this soulmate that's coming in is a muse. They're going to teach you a thing or two. <laughs> Sag, they got something to teach you. You two have some learning to do together. Yeah, you're going to be observing them a lot. Um, you know, because they're a muse. And so the student always observes. What else, Holy Spirit? And you'll understand each other. You two are going to be equally yoked. There'll be a level of spiritual understanding. Yes. And ascension. Wow, Sag. This is really good, this lover coming in. Tell me more. Tell me more about this soulmate. Holy Spirit. Hmm. Don't listen to what others have to say about them. Because people are going to be gossiping. You know, they're going to be talking about this, that, and the other. Um, critiquing. All in your business, Sag. So get ready for it. And most of them, look how they're standing there folding their hands. Yeah, there's, there's some jealousy. Their arms are crossed. Because this person is abundant, not just um, in terms of money, but they have this glow about them, you know, because they're a muse, they're a teacher, they, normally you're the sage, but I'm being told to tell you, Sagittarius, if you're the brightest light in the room, it's time to move to another room, and this other room could hold this person, this person who just captivates your attention he they like wow you you two are like magnets you understand each other you immediately connect um wow this looks really really good i see why others are jealous because uh the connectivity that you have is like seamless with this person it's like you two you, the yin, the yang, is it's right there. Whoa. All right. Some monology cards for Sagittarius. Not under this waning crescent moon. It's like you surrender to this love under the waning crescent moon. It's like you just... <sighs> Exhale. You're so happy to meet somebody who is able to hold your attention because you're very smart. I mean, you know, they just have the words, their whole style. They, they hold your attention. And that is something that doesn't happen easily, Sagittarius. Yeah. Surrender to the divine. See? You surrender to this. I told you. <laughs> you surrender to this person. You surrender to divine. It's like you're you're blessed almost. Um, under this wa waning crescent moon. There's an energy of let go, let God. And boy, you come into abundance in everything I see. You know, not just love. Everything. 
you feel better. Your solar plexus is charged. This person really does it for you, babe. That is like wonderful. And that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope you were able to identify with something that was said. If so, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you could resonate with. And until the next moon phase, namaste.